my channel. So for today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm doing another 24 hour challenge and today I'm going to be eating Tesco's finest food for 24 hours. As you can see behind me, I have arrived at Tesco to go and buy my food. And I'm probably going to get a lot of questions like, why wouldn't you go to somewhere like Waitrose or M&S that is classed as maybe a little bit more expensive? I'm not really sure. I just thought I'd go to Tesco because my last video was filmed at Tesco. Plus, like, Tesco has a weird, like, special place in my heart. I don't really understand it myself. Just for a little bit of background, just in case you haven't seen my other video, my normal, like, or my mum's normal shopping would come from just kind of, like, Tesco branded food. Like, we don't eat Tesco finest food on a weekly basis basis we don't also eat completely tesco branded but the majority of things we have are like tesco home make because it's good food but we never really get tesco finest unless it's on offer that's why i wanted to do this video just because i think it's going to be really interesting just to see what it does taste like and basically just me eating in luxury for a day i'm pretty excited not gonna lie i've just pulled up at tesco i'm gonna go inside get the food that i need and then i can go home and do you guys a little shopping haul and show you what meals i'm gonna be cooking today and putting them to the test i actually didn't realize all the tesco finest tomatoes that they do i normally just go for those ones down there but i mean look they even do finest tomatoes i got the finest mushrooms as well like really going all out for this video <laughs> also got the finest eggs to go in the basket i feel like this has literally already cost me a fiver for something that i would normally literally pay like one pound fifty for just to show you guys the difference that one tesco finest mousse down there is 80p whereas these ones you can get in a pack of six for a pound so 20p more you can get six so and just another comparison the pizza that we me and mum would usually get is like a pound this one is 5.25 like i'm sure it's nice but just as a comparison it's five pound 25 my favorite thing in the world is this but today i have to choose something from up here because this is all the finest stuff and i literally don't know what to go for they don't just do normal garlic bread so i think i'm just gonna have to go for this one which is two pound 20 as opposed to that one which is 32p which is like my favorite thing in the world oh my god so again, I don't really know if this is more of like a challenge. It's actually kind of a spin-off of a video that I did a couple of weeks ago where I tried Tesco's cheapest food, which is the Tesco value range, for a whole day. And I was genuinely so surprised. Like the food was incredible. And then a few people have been saying to me since, like, Anna, why don't you do the Tesco finest range for a day? And I was like, actually, that's a pretty good idea because for me, I personally haven't tried much of the Tesco finest range just because I kind of think it's a little bit expensive. But today I'm gonna be eating all three of my meals from the Tesco finest range and just kind of basically putting it to the test this isn't meant to be like a judgmental video like I'm not judging you if you buy this I'm not judging you if you don't this is genuinely just me testing out the finest food because you guys loved the Tesco value one so I thought this would be a good video so that's basically what I'm gonna do so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please smash a huge thumbs up let me know some other 24 hour challenges or other videos that you want to see in the comments down below and other than that let's just get started before I get into showing you what I actually got, the total came to £33.39 for one day's worth of food that I bought completely from Tesco Finest. The only things I couldn't get was the peppercorn sauce, which I just got the most expensive one, and then baked beans because they don't do them, so I literally just got Heinz beans. But I saved something, I saved £1.25. Here is all the food that I got for that price. So a lot of the money actually went on the meat. So the steaks that we're having for dinner were £6.99, I think the sausages were like £2.75 pretty sure the bacon was pretty much near that as well these chocolates were actually five pounds which i wanted to try and then the soup was like three pounds the eggs were like 190 these were 220 these was three pounds the tomatoes and the mushrooms are quite expensive as well so for 33 pounds i don't think i got that much food this is meant to be the best food that tesco sells so i'm very excited to try it but first of all i'm going to cook my breakfast of which i'm going to have a bit of like a cooked fried english breakfast i'm going to have sausages bacon i'm going to have eggs i'm going to have beans mushrooms and i'm very excited for this i'm gonna put the sausage and the bacon in the oven then i'm gonna do the rest on the hob but just in case you guys were curious the total of my breakfast today actually costs 7.85 but obviously i'm only using two of the bacon two of the sausages but still that is quite a difference in price compared to my other video which i think definitely cost me less than a pound for breakfast i'm low-key feeling very impressed with myself right now i've never cooked myself a full english breakfast i'm not that great at like preparing loads of food and getting them ready at the same time time although it's something i'm trying to improve on so if anyone wondered how my day is going um this is it just burnt my one piece of toast okay let's try that one again then shall we because that's a little bit burnt these are the eggs that cost me £1.90 i mean they don't really look any different to normal eggs i don't know what the difference is it just says chestnut moran free range eggs 
There you go. You don't really know the difference, but we're going to try these anyway. The egg cracked when I put it in, but it does look so good. I've got the mushrooms on, I've got the beans on, I'm just about to get the food out. And here is my breakfast. I'm not gonna lie, this actually does look insane. I added some toast just because I feel like I really needed some toast with it, but I've just got my beans, sausages, bacon, egg, mushrooms. The egg does look a bit dodgy, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm so excited to eat this. We're back in the food tasting position. First of all, I'm gonna taste the sausage. These were the most expensive sausages I could find. Like I said, I don't normally actually have sausage that much. It's not like my favorite thing in the world but they're growing on me more oh, than the hot <sighs> that sausage is really good it doesn't taste any different to the sausages i normally have but it is really good like i will say that the mushrooms are nice again don't really taste any different to the mushrooms that i normally have but i paid like double the price for these ones but they don't really taste any different i got unsmoked bacon because i really don't like smoked bacon but this looks really good so yeah, the bacon is really good as well. But again, for me personally, it doesn't really taste any different to the bacon that I normally have. Leading off of the video that I made last time, I was basically saying in theory that all like the same type of food, so like for instance, beans, is made in the same factory that they've just put different labels on. And a lot of people were saying that's true. So like, half of this stuff could literally be the same as the stuff I was eating in my other video, but just 10 times the price. I don't know what happened to the yolk, but the yolk is my favorite. So I'm just gonna try it with a bit of toast. It's not runny because it did like, don't know what happened to it. That egg is amazing. It does taste like, I can't explain it. It tastes nicer. It does taste nicer than the eggs that we usually get, but I feel like egg is just egg. This is basically the same price that you'd probably end up paying if you went out for breakfast, but I do have a lot of the sausages left, a lot of bacon, a lot of eggs. So I don't know. I mean, it is expensive, but it is really nice. I still do think that this food is exactly the same as the other food that I was eating, but they just put the price tag up because they can. Just to rate the breakfast, I would 100% say the egg is the best thing. Like it does taste more fresh. I can't explain it but the egg is incredible they just taste like normal sausages and so does the bacon obviously the beans were just heinz beans and then so does the mushrooms like the mushrooms taste exactly the same as well the only thing like i said is the egg which tastes insane like i can't pinpoint what it is but that yolk of that egg is it's been roughly an hour since my breakfast so i'm now going to have a snack and i'm going to try the tesco's finest belgian chocolate mousse now like i said earlier this single one here was 80p however the tesco like home brand versions were six for a pound it actually smells really good but i'm personally actually not a big fan of mousse anyway but i'm going to try it i mean it looks really nice to be fair yeah, I mean, it is nice. It's very chocolatey, but I have had the other Tesco mousses and again I just it tastes the same. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my mousse now. Mm. It's that time again. It is time for more food. And now it is currently lunchtime. What is the time? It is 25 to 1. So it's been like nearly another hour since I've last eaten. For lunch, I'm going to be having some soup because in my other video, I tried out Tesco Value soup and it was like 30p. It was either 17p or 30p for the tin. Whereas this was, let me just get the exact price. This one was £2.50. So obviously it's a little bit bigger. And this one you have to keep in the fridge and then you have to just put it in the microwave. So it says I've got to put it in the microwave for four minutes. And this is roasted roasted tomato and balsamic vinegar of Modena, I think. Me personally, I'm just more of like a basic girl. Like I like stuff like this, but I really just like basic tomato soup. Like I'm that type of person that if you give me a wrap of chicken in it, I'll take the chicken out and I'll eat the chicken and the wrap separately. I'm that weird. I'm actually a mess. It literally just took me five minutes just to get this lid off the pot because I couldn't figure out how to do it. Just looking so at all the good. food, doesn't it? Yeah. That's so nice. And then there's the steak that in there somewhere. Was it? That was 220. 220, yeah. Dead steak. Oh yeah. Fine. Oh, Aberdeen Angus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then there's so profit rolls in there. Was your soup nice? It was really nice. Yeah. So you can keep that in there for two days, so yeah. I'm gonna have more of it. Don't they look nice? How much are these? Three pounds. And then there's some tomatoes in there. Oh yeah, what um, have you tried then yet? No, I haven't tried the tomatoes hey, yet. Tesco's fine, Which you can oh. have later. There's the mushrooms in there. Then yeah, yeah. These are the meats. I left the bacon and the sausage in there as well. Oh, you've actually out. Well done. I know. It is now dinner time and mum has actually decided that she wants to cook this meal. Mum has got all the mushrooms cut up, the peppercorn sauce ready. Are the steaks under here? Oh, that's all the steaks. The plates are ready. Tomatoes, garlic bread, 
for I'm really excited mum for your Tesco I'm finest so meal. I'm yes. really excited. We haven't had steak in ages, have we? No, no, we haven't. Yeah, they look so they nice. They all do, they're not cooked. Oh, they're only halfway done. Ooh. The steak is cooking. I didn't realise how thick these pieces of steak are, but they look so good. And the mushrooms are on there as well. <gasps> oh my God. Mum has just served up mine and her dinner. This is Atticus's. He's got something else because he doesn't like steak. But I've got the steak, the mushrooms. The tomatoes look so good, don't they? They taste really good. Oh, have you tried them? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll try one on camera in a second. They look, I don't know, they look different. They look more red. Dinner has just been served and me and mum are gonna sit and try it for you. I've just realised how autumnal it looks as well because of the flowers and the pumpkin in the background. It looks so cute. First thing I'm gonna try is the tomato, which mum has said is apparently really good. So they do taste different, don't they? Mm. A lot sweeter, mm. don't you think? Yeah, they're a lot sweeter. That's because you'll really love them. Yeah. I them. Do you like them? Nah. Excuse the weird lighting, it's because the window is to the back of me because Atticus is sitting in the place that I usually sit in. But I am gonna try the steak. Mum is gonna try it as well. One of our dining room chairs is broken, so Mum is having to sit really awkwardly. Also, that steak. Mm. Isn't it good? Mm. I kind of do prefer thinner steaks. I'm not gonna lie, this is quite thick. Yeah, it's thick shrimp steak. The tomatoes are really good, aren't they? I definitely recommend the tomatoes. I, I can't, personally can't see a difference between the steak though. The chips too, these were three pound or two pounds for the big bag. I just think it's the chips. I think they're nice. They are lovely chips. But again, I can't really taste the difference. I can't taste the between these and say Aunt Bessie's. Do you know what I mean? No, neither can I. What? This is the garlic bread. Oh, it does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's sheer batter. Mm. Bread, it's not like your normal. <laughs> That's no, nice. No, is better to me. Yeah. Mm. Whether it's better, I don't know. I still mm. prefer the 30p one. The tomatoes that stand out to me. Yeah, so me don't too. Get me wrong, it's all delicious, obviously, but I'm so it's done. the tomatoes. So I've got the garlic bread near me. And you've got some over there, if, haven't if you? If you want them, I'll give it to you. <laughs> and I have some healthy tomatoes. What else, Chris? Big red. Harm by harm with the boiler man's coming around tomorrow. I'm going to ask him if he can put it in. What? <laughs> Nothing. We are going to give our opinions on the food. So personally, even though I... What are you doing? Even though I really enjoyed the meal, I personally don't think it's worth the price tag. I look, That's me being genuinely honest. I think you could get the exact same quality of meal for half the price at least. Yeah, the tomatoes were really good. Oh my God, the tomatoes I were would, so good. I would actually buy them tomatoes. I love tomatoes, though, um, so do you, but I love tomatoes. They were really good. They were so um, good. The steak was tender and it was really easy to cut. It was nice, um, but I don't think it was worth seven pounds. No. Not seven pounds. Um, the chips, they were no different they to were no like different. Aunt Bessie's chips. And the, the mushrooms. Bread. The garlic bread was really nice. Mushrooms batter. are no different. That was really good. The garlic bread was really good. For the price tag, I'd expect it to be one of like the nicest home cooked meals I've had, but I personally no. honestly think like the home lasagna you do with Aldi stuff, I think that tasted way better. The cheese pie, I think that tasted way better. I don't know, like it's, it's not all really in bad. the cooking, Anna. Alright, well. Anyway, so we've got fit rolls later, haven't we? Yeah, we've got fit rolls later, which I'm excited to try. I think they'll be nice. Mm. But it was £3 for eight. Or if it wasn't the Tesco's finest, you could get 20 for £3. Yeah, yeah. But I had to get the finest, so. I think we'll taste the difference with the fit rolls. Do you think? Yeah. I think some people actually read my mind. Literally, my video has been up 12 minutes and somebody commented, I only ate Tesco Fantasy with 24 hours as a video idea. So, babe, I've got you, don't worry. It is quite a bit later now and it is time to have some dessert. So I actually got these more for the benefit of mum because I'm actually not that big of a fan of profiteroles. I don't know if I'm gonna like them. I'm really not that hungry. Oh. I don't know, I'm really not that hungry. No, I'm not. Um, it's a shame, isn't it? Don't know, I don't think she does when you're really hungry. Chocolate's really hard. It's you to melt it. Oh, it should be, uh... Whether these are going to taste different though to like the Tesco other ones, I don't know. Because like I said, it was like three pounds for twenty of normal yeah. Tesco ones. No, it's... Three pounds for eight of Tesco finest. Are they I worth? I don't know if they're any. Yeah, but are they worth the money? Do you I think? I don't know because, to be fair, oh, yummy, definitely. Mm. But I don't know if I like it. Are they? chocolate i mean it's not that it's bad they're not my favorite dessert like i wouldn't personally choose profiteroles if i was going to have dessert would you well you probably would i go for things like sticky toffee pudding or like toffee or something like that would you pay three pound for them though for eight no oh, i'd have to be feeling quite fresh really <laughs> to get eight for three pound you know what i mean yeah but they don't taste that different 
many other buffets well for my dinner. Now, I fell asleep after having my dinner. I was so tired that I didn't even get to try the chocolates. I think that was another thing that I didn't try either. Oh, I'm very zoomed in. So I'm just going to end this video here. But as an overall kind of like what I thought of the food, I thought it was good. Did I think it was any better than like the food that I normally have? Definitely not. The tomatoes and the egg insane i don't know what the difference was but they were insane everything else personally and even my mum thought as well tasted the same so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please smash a huge thumbs up let me know if you did in the comments below and let me know some other 24 hour challenges that you want to see as well and other than that i love you all so 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 much and i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye do you love me